Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your boy, Creative D. Will, your everyday creative dad. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Hey, yo, so look, today we're going to talk about how to actually bust tracks or group tracks inside a machine um, for doing like submixes and all that other good stuff. So it's going to be a short video, short, simple video, just a quick tip that I just want to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and let's get creative. <laughs> All right, you guys, so welcome back. Um, today, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be talking about buses and how to bus inside a machine and exactly what is a bus and how do you use it, right? Nobody knows all these weird mixing terms or music terms. Um, so what, a, what is a bus? A bus is essentially a, a group of tracks being sent to a location inside of your DAW or your program, for instance, inside a machine. I'm taking all these groups or all these different pads and then I'm sending them to one group or one location. I know, a little bit confusing, but hang in there, stick with me. It's gonna make sense once I get done showing you guys how all this stuff works together, right? So inside a machine, it's a little bit different than other DAWs, but it's, it's kind of, it's all pretty much the same, right? So what I mean by bus, I have this mix bus right here and I want to send all of these tracks, boom, all these individual tracks right here. I got them highlighted. I want to send all of these different tracks over to this mix bus. But in order to do that, I have to come down here and I have to uh, send it to mix bus one so boom i want to route all of these over here to mix bus i mean c2 i want to i want to route everything to c2 which is my mix bus all right but before i can do that you see how it comes up here if i don't have a plug-in on this mix bus or wherever i want to send it if i don't have a plug-in i'm gonna come over here to this view right here how i got plugins right here on this group if i don't have any plugins like for example if i added this right here boom and I come back over here and I wanted to send all of my tracks to this one group uh, F2. Then I come down here. You see, I don't have an option to send it. That is because I don't have any plugins on this actual channel. So in order for me to send anything to a certain location, you got to have a plugin on that channel. That is very important because if you don't have a plugin, it won't come up. So I'm going to click on this channel and we're going to add shift. Uh, we're gonna hit shift um perform x and we're gonna add perform x right and i want to add uh what i want to do let's do uh, a burst echo right all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all of these the bass track let me play this track real quick so you guys can hear it real quick uh boom i hope you i hope you follow me because i, I know it's, it's getting a little confusing but it all makes sense at the end when i show you what you can do if you know how to route and bust inside a machine so let me play this real quick so you can get a sense of of the track that we're listening to and that we're going to be affecting hold on here we go lo-fi chill track that's what i do i make lo-fi music yeah All right, enough of that. I just wanted you guys to hear the track uh, because I'm about to do some crazy stuff with it real quick. And it's all gonna be because I'm routing and I'm busing um, different, I'm busing different um, tracks to different areas and affecting those different, um, those different areas. You can see right here, I got flanger, stutter, and we're gonna name this to burst echo. I know, I know, stay with me now. Right? So in order to um, send these tracks to different locations rather than to the master, which is up down here, you got to select on all these tracks and I'm going to hit shift, hold down shift. And then I'm going to I'm um, click on the first one. Then I'm going to click on the last one that I want to send. Now I want to send all of these tracks to C2, which is my mix bus. Boom. And I go down here, click on mix bus. Now, since I got all of these tracks going to the mix bus and I got this mix bus going to my master, I want to say, hey, don't go to the master. 
I want you to, I got all these tracks hop, hopped on the bus and they went to the mix bus location, right? Boom. So they all traveled here. Now I said, hey, I, I want mix bus to stop here before you go to the master. So what I'm going to do is, is gonna, I'm going to change this down here to, which one is that? D2, Flanger PFX. Boom. So now all of these tracks go here to the mix bus and then they go all the way down here up to D2. So they say, boom, from from this mix bus to D2. Now D2 is going to master. I want to say, hey, bro, I don't want you to go to master just yet. I want you to make another stop before you go to master. So how do we do that? We take it from the flanger PFX and then we say, hey, you're going to master, bro, but I don't want you to go to master right now. I want you to go to stutter. So it's going to stop to stutter. Now stutter is going to master. And I don't want it to go to master. I wanted to say, hey, stop to burst echo before you go to the master. Now, since that is my last plugin that or, or group that I want affecting all of these different channels, then I want you to go to master. You're going to go to master. And this is my last output channel. So I changed it down here to master. Ultimately, all these channels are going to end up going to master. It has to go to the master in order for you to hear it. If it's not routed to a master uh, track, and um, if, if the last plugin or the last group is not routed to the master track, then you won't hear anything that's affected. So theoretically, all of these tracks go here, boom. They come down, then they travel out, boom. They come down, and then, uh-oh. Oh, man. Man, I don't know what I just, oh, okay. Let me put that back. Boom. They come down and they say, okay, where are you going to go from there? I'm going to go to E2. All right, I'm at E2. I'm hitting all of these signals. Do, 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 do. Now I need to go to uh, F, F2. Boom. From F2. Do, 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 do. Where, now where I need to go? Oh, you need to go to the master bus. Boom. So that is how you bus or route tracks. Now stay with me. I know it's getting a little, now I know I'm, I know I'm getting a little into the weeds and a little confusing. And I hope this is making sense or resonating with some people. Now, why is that important? Because of this dope plugin right here and other plugins. Um, Perform X only allows you to put like right here. I can put, I can only use one um, Perform X on one group at a time. But I want to, I don't want to have to keep switching between tremolo right here, scratcher, all these different effects. I got to keep switching in between them and I can't do it on the fly. So what I did was I put um, I put various instances of Perform X on these other tracks and then I label or, or these other groups and then I labeled these groups uh, what exactly it is. So if I'm performing live, I can start off at the mix bus. I'm going to play this track real quick. And then I have then I have Perform X selected right here on the machine. If you were in an older machine, then you probably won't have Perform X. But uh, I I know the MK3 has it and the Machine Plus have it. But you can um, you can utilize at Perform X and utilize the knobs out right here to turn it off and on to engage. But if you got an MK3 and you got a Machine Plus, I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a whole tutorial on Perform X and how to actually use it and how to better route route uh, uh, Perform X. But anyway, so if you got it on Machine, all you gotta do is touch this little strip right here and you see it's turning it off and on. Uh, so we're gonna utilize that feature to actually perform live. Um, inside a machine while the track is playing. So for example, here I go. I know none of that sounded pretty, but I just wanted you guys to hear and see exactly what I'm doing with the track and why I bust all these tracks the way that I did and why I had them stop at each section before it went to the master section. As you can see, I was switching, I was on the machine and all I was doing is switching different groups, right? I'm switching di uh, between different groups and then I just, boom, hit Perform X and it did exactly what the Perform X, what this is set for this one. This one was supposed to be stutter, but it was set to filter for some reason. So I can come over here and change that to, uh-oh, scratcher to filter. Boom. Oh, God. All right. It's easier to do it on a, on a machine. I should have just actually did it right here. Boom. But anyway, so now I can perform this track live and then I can have, I can, I can hit the auto, auto feature and utilize a clip 
And if I had a clip going right here, all the way throughout this whole thing and, and over here as well, then um, wherever I utilize Perform X, it, uh, uh, I, can just, I can just perform live. So, man, that was, I know that was kind of confusing. I hope, I hope, I hope this resonated with some people. I hope you guys picked up something. But that is essentially a how you bust inside a machine, how you route different um, tracks to certain areas and where you want them to go uh, for mixing purposes. And like I said, you can utilize it for Perform X. Um, it's a great feature. If you picked up something off of this tutorial, man, this little quick tip, then please, please, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you really, really liked it, man, hit that notification bell so you can stay tuned and you won't miss another video. Uh, until next time, man, you guys be awesome, be creative, and I'll see you in the next one.